I've been hearing much about bitcoins lately. They say that it is digital money and a store of wealth. It doesn't depend on banks or government. One can remain anonymous. How does one buy things with it? How many stores accept it? Can I tuck it away for long periods of time and access it only when I need it? How do I store it and where? One has to do the exchange with another Bitcoin holder. Right now not many stores accept it. It is stored on the computer or a backup drive. Suppose the lights go out for a while due to a natural disaster or worse go out permanently? How would I use them then? Doesn't it seem more complicated to sustain such a system? That's a good point. With fiat paper money as long as the government is around to back it, it is good. Gold and silver have survived the test of time, no electricity needed. Some that claim to be altruistic have been promoting bitcoins. The value of them has increased to $30 recently and then has taken a nose dive. It doesn't seem to be stable. Know what you mean. Most of these sales people are very slick and put on an altruistic face. It does the newbies no justice. These snake oil people should be ashamed of themselves. They are everywhere and have been around for thousands of years. They are on YouTube for example. They got into bitcoins early and are now trying to take people for a ride. People like them have caused people that I know to leave stocks and bonds and to seek out the safety of gold and silver. It hurts my stockbroker friend's commissions. Gold and silver are tangible, rare, divisible and easy to store. They are easy to keep private. Governments and banksters don't like citizens to have much gold and silver. Later, 